Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our ninth tutorial of Power BI. The previous class we have discussed building the calendar table and fill up and fill down. And in today's class we will learn some more interesting feature about Power Query Editor. Let's go to the Power Query Editor window. And in today's class we will discuss some number column features. This is very helpful and really interesting. So let's start the video guys. Let's say our requirement is to count the customer ID and you have million of data. So obviously you can't count one by one. So here is the option guys to count the customer ID. So you just simply click this customer ID column and go to this statistic option and click count values. So you can see the total count it is basically used for cross checking the data, whether our data is correct or not. So we can cross check our data in this way. Now I am removing this. So let's go to the another example. So we will learn distinct count this time. So you guys can see this product column and we have a list of product and which are repeated like milk, chocolate, chocolate, milk. So you need to find the distinct value. How can we do that? So again you need to go just transform section and here is an option called statistics. So you need to click this option and select count distinct values. So now you guys can see we have a four distinct values in the product column. Again I am removing this. Now we can cross check. Like we have only four different category which is milk, fruit, chocolate, bread and other are repeated. So in this way you can calculate the distinct count. And the last we will see one more example. This time we will figure out the total sum of this sales column, which is customer price. So first you need to select this column and go to the transform tab and go to statistics. And you need to click this option, which is sum. And you guys can see we can have the total sum here guys. So in this way, you guys can see the total sum here. So I'm again removing this column and back to our table. So now we have another useful option in number columns, which is standard. It is also really helpful to performing simple calculations. So I will remind you one thing before making any changes in query editor. If you want to change anything in same column, then you need to select transform. But if you want to perform the calculation in separate column, so you need to go with add column section. These options are available in both the section in transform and add column. So it's depend on you where you want to perform this calculation. So this time I'm performing the calculation in the same column. So what I'll do, I'll just simply select this column and go to the transform section. And after that, go to this standard. Just click on add and put it hundred here and click OK. Now you guys can see our all the values has changed and it's added with 100. Previously it was 50. Now it's 150. It was 75. Now it's 175.94. So in this way you can add multiple calculation. You can add, multiply, subtract, divide anything with, according to your requirement. Now I'll show you one more example with different calculation with the help of add column section. Let's say this time I want to calculate percentage of this entire column in a separate column. So obviously we need to go with add column and select this option which is standard. So let's say I want to calculate percentage of 3% rate. I'll just click percentage here and put it 50. Now you guys can see one more column has added with percentage. You can see 50% of 150.25 it's 75.125 50% of 175.94 it's 87.97 so in this way you can perform any calculation according to a requirement i would recommend do practice yourself as much as you can now moving towards another feature of number column which is round off so you guys can see we have a decimal point here which is 75.125 87.97 so we can round off here as well, the help of this rounding function. Let's say click this rounding and round up. 
so you guys can see we have a, another column which is round up and there is no decimal point here but if you want to perform the calculation in the same column so you just go to transform and click here rounding now you guys can see the changes have made in the same column so in this way you can use number column feature in power query editor so we have covered various features of number column and hope you guys have really enjoyed this video so here guys i am providing free course of power bi whose market value is 20 to 25000 so you guys can save your time and money as well with the help of this channel and our power query editor just about to complete within one or two classes then we will move towards data modeling so we will learn more about power bi so guys please support this channel and do like subscribe and share and share with those who really want to learn power bi from scratch thank you so much friends